This is part one of our 14 days in Pacific City. Science. Did it work? Gravity did. Water flow works. <laughs> sand falls. Yeah, it's the edge of the sand. Made it! <laughs> oh. Your dog's ready. Your dog says, let's do this thing. We made it across. We did get our shoes a little bit wet, but we don't want to get pinched by this tide and stuck over here. And it's only coming closer. All that effort for nothing. What are you talking about? Your picture. Get to forge the stream again. I don't know. Yeah. So we're picking up some big boulders from over here. Not moving them far, just into the water a little bit so we can um, have a little bit more stable of a crossing. My breath betrayed me. How'd it go? Mostly dry. I fell in at one point though, the rock slipped. How'd it go for you? I carried a rock with me to, you know, help along the way. And I threw the rock in and it helped a little. And then I just threw caution to the wind and ran. And it, it went decent until I got to the bank. And I jumped and the sand gave out on me and I fell down. <laughs> Adventure! I got less wet the first time across. Yeah. Since we got pushed off the beach, we went to the playground at our campsite to get a workout in. EJ did his pull-ups, and I did a three-second hang. We cooked dinner at our camp, and we're ready for tomorrow. Alright, so it's a nice rainy day, so we've decided to go hot tub ready to go so what happened we're gonna take two we forgot our after soak towel and soap <laughs> the right tools for the job. Good. Off we go, this time with supplies. The hot tub was full, so we got another workout in on the play structure. Quick wardrobe change. And we're off. Go. Oh God. <laughs> the bank collapsed. 
I ended up like kicking water into myself. The pan really crumbled beneath you, didn't it? <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Now we're chilling. Got some knitting. What book are you reading? It's a new original series from HBO. We love these quiet nights at camp, being able to sit outside and watch the sunset. If you're interested, I'm currently working on a sweater. You can't beat this morning sun. This is like nicer than summer days that we've had. Yeah, beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's what, 60, it's 63 degrees? 63 and sunny. <sighs> I'm a little hot, like I'm a little, yeah. I'm a little sweaty. Take off the vest. Yeah. Gorgeous. And into the trees. Into the woods we go. dewy dewiness it gets after the rain so it's less magical now right now in this nice day in this beautiful day you'd rather a mist oh a mist would be perfect just but we're finally dry dry schmai <laughs> but we're finally dry <laughs> It's a surprise. We would spend every day rambling through the woods if we could. We've gotten a lot of questions about how Ari is adjusting to life out here. camp, she enjoys leash-free exploration. Ari practices her hunting skills. Ari takes long, sun-filled naps in the van.
And when we go for walks, she dons a harness and leash, just like her sister. Ari is very playful. EJ picks up twigs or leaves and she goes wild for them. In noisy, wide-open places like the beach, Ari prefers to be in her carrier until she acclimates. Then she's ready to take on the world again. We hope you've liked this closer look at Ari's adventures. EJ, Bombay, Ari, and I will see you next week for part two. I'm giant.